Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. Trust you're having a good morning. A little late to the game here. It's 9.30. We are actually open on the New York market. You can see the first one minute there forming, and that's okay. Still 20 seconds left in that first candle. Dropping down here on the open. Negative moving averages on both the S&P and the NASDAQ, of course, below VWAP as well. But let's go take a look at the daily frame, shall we? You will see that on the daily, of course, we had a big down day, wide ranging candle on both the NASDAQ and the S&P. Today, so far, we have an inside day right in the dead center of yesterday's wide ranging candle. Same thing on the S&P, very similar structures here on both. And for now, we have a marginally bullish body, but that might not last based on how it's been and squeezing in just even in the last few minutes and again you can see that here it's squeezing down almost trying to become a negative body or a down body from the open of the future session which was here there's that white body becoming a blue body or threatening to become a blue body here as we enter the market now we do have news this morning guys that's one of the things I was doing is to uh, let my groups know about the news coming into the uh, the open here uh, at 9.45 and again at 10 o'clock. So I may not take a trade until after both of those news items, but who knows, anything can happen. I'll put you on pause for now and bring you back as things develop here. Here's my trading grid, guys. Daily up in the top left, 30 minute chart, guys. As you can see, we've just broken down here below. Pretty narrow range here, though, quite frankly, in the UK, and a very narrow range in the Asian session, testing the low of this range from the Asian session. I'm not going to jump on anything here. So in terms of my frame coming in here, guys, we have that kind of neutral daily right in the middle of yesterday's range, marginal bullish body, but an inside day. By definition, that means range bound, bound inside of the range of yesterday's span of travel. It's a wide span. It doesn't mean we can't take trades far from it. There could very well be opportunities here today. Bouncing off that zone down here on the 30 minute. You see that there? Little break and retest of the open range, dropping down to the 30 second chart. I wonder if we're gonna get a retest here, guys. This is just a marker, not doing anything yet. Nothing yet. I'm just curious here. How many points is that? 66 or 67 points, really? I think I said 66, which is something completely different. It's when an old person makes love. This is just a marker, guys, not a live order. I'm going to delete this marker on the 30 minute chart. Very minor zone. I just wanted to put it in there for the beginning of the session. I'm tempted to place my stop here, guys, but I'm not going to today. I'm going to give it a bit more room to work. And I may cancel this if we don't get any follow through here. But this would be a retesting of the zone that we just rejected from if we break down below. Of course, if we don't break down below, there's nothing for me here. So I'll stop guys right here below that big shift candle. Stop above the open range. Here we go. This is the dance. My target is this next range down here which is fairly minor. This is when the market was actually closed, if you remember. There almost doesn't need to be a zone marker here, just to be clear. I do want to show you the 30 minute chart here real quick. Very powerful impulse wave down, orderly pullback, pulling back on the bow into the open of yesterday on New York and now faltering again for a potential move down. Clean traffic range down below. Let's see where we go from here. For those who follow Fibonacci retracements, this would be just beyond 618 retracement of this entire leg down. Since we had a bit of time here, I'll show that to you right now. I can just tell about, I don't use the markers by the way, guys. I'll sometimes do that for you. I know that many of you do. So Fib from the bottom of that impulse, right there to the top of the impulse right there. There's that 618 just beyond. So between 618 and 786 to the lower end, this is a kill zone for me in terms of retracements, all things being equal. If 
we pull all the way back, I cancel this order and there is no trade. This is the dance. I'm gonna manage this very actively, guys, very dynamically going into the news if I get triggered in. It's 9.41. All right, guys, it's 9.41 and a half. I'm canceling this order because we are going into news. So nothing for me to do here. All right, guys, nothing going on here. Sell stop order right there. Stop above this action here. And I'm in, guys. I'm in. Short the NASDAQ. Fairly simple entry here, guys. It's 9.46 and a half a.m. after the 9.45 news. Wasn't a lot of flurry and reaction to that. It could still happen. Sometimes it's a bit of a delayed reaction. That could stop me out, but that's okay. I've had a very strong week so far. It's Thursday today, October 24th. There is more news at 10 a.m. I'll be mindful of that. If I get a chance, I'll manage this dynamically. I'm gonna delete this zone marker, guys. This is a very minor zone from Asia. Even this zone here is not much all, guys. The big stuff is way down here. Stop the break even now, guys. Stop the break even, I'm gonna play this one tight. I'm on a bit of a win streak, I'd like to keep that intact if I can. And that's just for fun, kind of a, psychological element if you will nothing wrong with that if I get stopped out of break even which is a very high chance I will keep the video going as many of you have asked so we can see if that dynamic shift was a resourceful decision in hindsight about to get stopped out of break even here guys and there it is so break even on this one I'm gonna keep the video playing so we can see in hindsight if this was a resourceful move or not. Again, it is in hindsight, but it's kind of fun to watch, I know. See you in a bit. So news is out, guys. Price is kind of just grinding around. Of course, I'm out at break even, just watching to see what happens here for fun. And there it is, guys. And so, once again, it was a resourceful decision to move to break even here at around the three quarter point, just a bit between half and, and three quarters, playing defense here on a news day, bracketed by the 9.45 news and then the 10 a.m. news, which was here. You get pretty wishy-washy. And so it was uh, playing it safe there with the dynamic stop. And once again, it did pay off. It usually does, quite frankly, and I think you'll see that in my videos, uh, but not always. Sometimes it'll cost me an R and uh, that's fine too. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here, appreciate you. Thank you.